morning guys welcome back today we are going eventing again with zazzy come here and today we're going to off church and we are doing the 105 so that is very exciting we are stepping up kind of it's like a mini level for you who don't know you do at a be 105 you do a novice dressage test so pray for us um, because we have to do medium trot and medium canter and considering last week I could barely keep her in canter that's not going to go down too well and then the show jumping obviously it can be bigger about one meter <coughs> about one meter five but it probably could be a bit bigger because sometimes they build like the hundreds a bit bigger and then the cross country again is bigger it's more technical and you have to go at a quicker pace like the optimum time means you have to go faster what are you doing so that's what we're doing today and it's kind of in prep for um, attempting novices later the se in the season. We've done one 105 before at Wellington back in 2019. We got like a 42 or 44 dressage, typical one pole and clear cross country inside the time. So today I would really like to improve on that dressage score, but we shall see. I want to ride show jumping a lot better than I did last weekend and yeah I would love to go clear inside the time to finish the day but we will see so you saw quite a lot of prep for Farley last week so I haven't done as much well I got most of the stuff done yesterday as it is an early start not as early as last week we're not leaving till half nine so I've just got an hour now to plat her up that's basically all that needs doing so I'll probably catch up with you once we are ready to go as you can see, she's really raring to go. She was just cantering around her field before I brought her in. So that's probably exerted all her energy. But she's, I'm enjoying her being cuddly because she's not at home. She's at my home. So she's more cuddly because she's more cuddly when she's away from her home. Yes, yes. So anyway, time to plait her up. Ready to go. Boot, travel boots are on. Time to get loaded up. Good girl. Good girl. We have arrived. We're gonna go walk in cross country, which is just there. As they can probably hear, can't they? Good girl. You can see how parts better now as well. Not too bad. Where are we? There's not too many questions. They've used the ground really well though, so there's a lot of like undulating ground before the jump, so you're either going like quite uphill or quite downhill. Um, yeah, okay. So yeah, I'm looking forward to doing that. So I was just chilling. It didn't take that long to walk the course, so we've got time, but I need to get changed into my stuff and do her studs because the ground is actually quite soft. But yeah, I'm looking forward to cross country. Just need to get through the um, dressage phase first, which will be interesting. The other thing is, even though it's a long way away, the um, the way the course is set up here is quite tricky for Mum to get in like a good place to see the majority of it. Yeah, it's going to be difficult for Mum to film loads. Um, but Annabelle is here with work so i'm gonna try and get her to come and help and get some footage basically and be my camera woman so hopefully my camera woman will arrive and we can get more footage because that's what you guys want to see don't you anyway shall we get you ready so my groom has arrived my photographer 
videographer and tail platter. So Zazie, huh? Zazie's gonna have a nice tail. And I meant to say, because we're doing the 105, huh? Want me to quarter? No. Because we're doing the 105, the cross country jumps, they were blue with white numbers, but they're also doing a one star, which is white with blue numbers. So. I need to remember to jump the blue with the white numbers because uh, the one stars basically have like C uh, elements three. after ours for some of them. So yeah, when you've seen the cross country, it was blue with white numbers. Okay, so here we are, about to go down the centre line. The test is novice 112. And I've got the sheet here, so I will voice over whilst you're watching it, because I know it's more interesting. For our centre line, we got a 6.5, with a comment about the contact. I can't really read the writing, but it wasn't a great contact. Oh god, it's really not great. The left rein is not good. And then at E, we had to do a 15 metre circle which we got a 6.5 long in frame, which I would agree, but at least she doesn't look like a giraffe, taking the positives for a novice test. And then EA working trot, and then after A you have to turn down the three quarter line and go to the BXE line, which is basically in the middle. And then from there you leg yield right to M. So you have to go straight and then when you hit this line then I go across and we got 6.5 which I'm quite pleased with. Supple but then contact. Then come around the bottom. She's slightly better there. Then okay. HXF change the rain show some medium trot. Can we see any? I mean kind of. 6.5. More from behind. And then A medium walk and KXF, KXH free walk on a long rain and we got a 6.5 basically we've got 6.5 to everything um the comment stretch needs to stretch down oh yeah so it's this weird I, I forgot you change you don't change the rain you do this curve and then H medium walk and then there's a mark, they mark your medium walk on the first bit and this bit, and we got a seven, which I was very impressed with. And you trot at C. So we got a seven for that bit and the first medium walk, which is good for her, for her walks. And then you basically mirror the other way, B, circle, right, 15 meters, 6.5, the common of energy. But like, looking at her, she doesn't look awful, it's looked worse. And then you go back after up to A and do your leggy of the other way and this way was horrendous. <laughs> I asked her to move um, left and she started moving right and then oh god it's awful. For some reason we got 6.5 again. Um, I thought that was quite generous. And then between C and M you canter and we got a 7 for that transition, which I'm so pleased about. <laughs> I'll take any 7s I can get. And then BE, half 20, showing some medium canter. I mean, I think there is a slight difference. A slight, slight difference. We got 6.5 with the comment lengthening. And then EHCM, working canter. We got a 7. This is good for our canter. And then you have to change the rain with a change to trot over X and then pick up canter the other way. I was quite pleased with that. We got 6.5 with energy. And then we got 6 for our canter left and you'll see why because... Yeah. Not good. Basically she was really, really against me. And we got 6 for that, showing some medium, which was generous because there was no medium. And then I was dreading this turn. You have to turn down. Oh. We got 6.5 for this, for the whole thing of trotting, and then we got a 7 for our halt.
not our best halt, but not a disastrous test, considering it was a novice. Um, I'm not going to tell you what I got now, because in the vlog I don't find out till a lot later, so I'll let you guys find out with me later on, but for our collectives we got a 7, a 6, a 6.5 and a 6.5, so I'm sure you can work it out if you really want to. But I wasn't um, in tears after this, so that is a plus. Anyway, back to show jumping. I will no, also voice over this, off. even though I really oh, don't I want to watch it back. You will see why. She should jump. Um, She's been jumping so well at the moment. She warmed up. I wanted to ride better than Farley. Right. I think I said that earlier the in the vlog. And I thought I had a better canter. She was more forward, but I hadn't let her get too long. But the first one, we still Good got to that little chip half stride. So I opened her up around here and then coming back to Don't fence two was downhill hill, so then I made sure to sit and that hold her because I thought we'd had the energy. Give that wasn't too bad. Not I can't too remember much, what happens though, at three. Down that line. Well done, so Not right. too bad Wake again. Corner, and then I think this is when it all starts to go Invencer. wrong. You'll hear it, you can't see it. She had the first part down, I believe. Maybe I she didn't. Know, I don't think and so. then here I couldn't see, but we were on an okay stride, but she just was flat. She just didn't pick up her feet. And here again, I think we got a little chip in. I don't think she had something down in that. It just wasn't flowing. Oh, and then you had to come down to the planks. And again, I just I remember it just didn't feel nice. Yeah, she got close okay, so again. That's... This one she jumped probably the nicest. That was she nice. jumped that really nicely. Then it was quite a tight turn back on yourself, so I made sure not to cut my turn. She just ran but we met this really like, badly. Right forwards. Oh, Zazie. And then it was a short two, and she just was flat. Down. And then the last one. Again, disgustingly well, really sticky. Fun, not great. Well, that wasn't really the show jumping round that I just wanted to have finished. I don't really know what to say. Um, I said at the beginning of this I wanted to, my aim for show jumping today was improve on Sorry, last weekend and we saw what happened, four poles came six. down, which is so uncharacteristic, I'm not really sure why. Some, I mean I haven't watched it back, some I think were her, some were me, but I, I thought I rode more forward because last weekend basically it held her. So I tried to ride more forward, but then I think it had so the reverse nice. effect. Reverse six, effect, Red, and she offset, got uh, too long. So then was either like chipping in or standing off That's, and then getting uh, with her back legs. But yeah, box, uh, it just wasn't great. Passing, After like not being, I haven't spoke to you guys since dressage, I wasn't too house. annoyed with that test. Like the second leg yield was awful <laughs> and the second canter was bad. But considering it's a novice test, it could have gone a lot worse. So it's just typical, isn't it? That when the dressage, I'm not actually in tears after the dressage. She makes up for it and I'm in tears after the show jumping. Um, it is very hot. She is hot. She had a drink when we got back from show jumping and she never drinks when you get back from show jumping. So she must be hot. So I'm just debating whether to push for the time cross country because I want to know whether we can do it like now it's clouded over or whether to just save her legs I mean she's Probably not venting for a while hopefully you can hear me after the, uh, over the commentator but yeah absolutely awful show jumping so yeah sweaty I'm just feeling really ugh, feeling very flat you know you just wish you could go in and do it again and just make changes but you can't you've just got to ride, ride it and I thought I was riding okay, but obviously not. I don't know what's gone on the last two events. I've just ridden show jumping so badly. Tweezel down felt so good. 
105. And these last two have felt so bad. So I really need to get some lessons in before we attempt a novice. Oh dear me. I'm so annoyed. Anyway, I've been critiquing and being pessimistic now for two and a half minutes. So we are just chilling before cross country. I'm going to give her time to cool down. The, uh, They've also said that there's quite a lot down cross country, so we're going to wait. I need to cool off because I was really hot. And just try and move on. It's only a one day event. It's only a 105 before you'll be a novice that you need to actually ride for. Oh, it's just so annoying because well, you, you always want to do so well. And I thought, oh, she's been jumping storm. so well, I'll be happy with one pole. Just resisting going into the start box. And Elbowing now I've got to edit this and watch it back. And I don't want go. to watch it back because I'm going to hate watching it back. The very house of one. <sighs> anyway, that's the update. The My dressage score isn't up yet. I'd be quite happy with it. I'd be happy if we got sub 40, but we'll see. Cavalier because, yeah, some of it wasn't great. So I'll catch up with you guys um, when we're getting ready to go cross country. But yeah, the day has is not going well. It's not going as planned at the moment, especially the show jumping. Practice is required, isn't it, Zazie? Uh, so that's 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 kind of penalties picked up by Chloe But yeah, I'll catch up with you in a bit. So we are on our way back now and finished finished the day slightly better than shoe jumping. Cross country was good, she was really really good. Um, we went clear, we got a couple of time faults but um, so I did decide to try and ride for the time but I'm not too fussed with getting we got two time faults because you have to go quicker at 105 and it's been a while since I've had to go at that pace. So I'm not too phased by that. Um, and typical, what my dressage sheet that she actually did a really nice test. We got 34, which is better than we got last weekend at Farley and even though today was a novice test. Um, so I'm really pleased with her dressage and it's, you know, it makes it a bit more annoying about the show jumping but it also means that I'm a bit more happier about the dressage because at least two phases went well, um, dressage and cross country. So I just need to, to work on our show jumping before our next one if we do a novice. Um, so yeah, we got 34.5 and we got a couple of seven, a few sevens as well. And I'm sure I'll voice it over when you watched it so you'll know. Um, and yeah, cross country went well, she jumped very well, and on our way back now, so not the best result over all three phases, but not disastrous. Um, so that is all for this event in vlog. So come back on, because mum said I didn't play up cross country enough. Um, because there was some, yeah, there was some difficult stuff, um, as the numbers just say. They used the ground very well, so there was stuff we had to do on angles and like up and down. Um, and obviously we're having to get that slightly quicker speed. Some of the tables were quite big and wide. Yeah, she was good, yeah, because some of them did come up quite tight, like after the sunken road you had to turn left into that field over the gate. Definitely. 
So no, I am pleased that with her. You know, good yeah, very part. upright Wasn't gate, it? which I don't like. And then through the trees to that. Um, yeah, the corner. Really skinny corner. Really over here. Yeah. yeah, there was not much like because of where they put the Christmas trees, where you could actually jump was quite skinny. So yeah, I was pleased with the sculpture because there was some technical questions. So hopefully, if we do do the novice, we will do a novice. At least that phase is all right. Huh? Yeah, good practice for that. Yeah. And the dress up wasn't too bad. Let's hope maybe it will be the same test at the novice at uh, 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 Aston. The same judge. Even better. Because she said she was a lovely form. Show you jumping and carry on practicing the dressage and hopefully get the same result at the next one. That is now the end of this vlog and um, thank you very much for watching.